Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, I want to look at the player administration plugin for Rust. I will put the link to the plugin in the video description. Looking at the description, it says player administration provides a simple to use graphical user interface that helps admin moderate users. Looking at my Oxide folder inside of plugins, I have the Tabex plugin player administration, and I also have the permissions manager. As the name says, it allows us to very easy and quickly manage the permissions for the individual players or for the groups that we created. We are on my server. I am admin, as you can see, I can fly. So let's open up the permissions manager by typing slash perms in the chat. Then when we go to all groups, you can see that I created a VIP group. When we click on the VIP, it will then show all the plugins that we have installed. And like I said, today we're going to look at the player administration plugin. As you can see, there are a lot of permissions. Looking at the plugin page, we can see what all those permissions do. Scrolling down, we can see that these are all the permissions that are in the plugin and also what they do. One of the things that makes player administration so powerful is that you can allow certain things to your moderators or admins without giving them full ownership. Let's say you have a team of moderators or admins, whatever you want to call them, and you want to allow them to kick and ban people when necessary. Normally, you would either have to install a dedicated plugin for everything, but if you're going to do that, you're going to end up with 200 plugins on your server and performance might not be optimal. The other option you have is giving them admin permissions, so basically making them a owner. That would mean they have full access to your server. You're basically giving them the key to everything. So what player admin allows you to do is give certain people certain permissions and everything is in a nice user interface, so it's easy and very hard to make mistakes. I'm going to grant all the permissions to the VIP group, double checking that indeed all the permissions have been granted. Looking at the VIP group and clicking on players, you can see that I'm currently not in the VIP group, so I don't have permission to open up player administration. So let's open up F1 and let's add ourselves to the group. So we're going to say Oxide, dot user group add then the username which in my case is library bird and then the group we want to add the player to so in this case vip and then it says add the player library bird with also my steam id to the group vip so now we should have permission to open up player admin so let's do p admin or player admin and as you can see it will open up the player admin user interface Player admin has a lot of different options and I do have to stress that some of them can be very admin abusive. I feel like I have to address it. Please don't admin abuse. Don't be that admin because the only thing you're going to do is destroy your server. So as you can see, we have four tabs at the top. We have the main, the online players, the offline players and the banned players. Main currently only has the option to ban a user by Steam ID. Online players will show all the online players. And you can also search or filter if you have a lot of people online. Offline players will display all the people that have connected but are currently not connected to your server. And banned players, self-explanatory, will list all the players that have been banned on your server. So let's click on online players and click on my name and look at what kind of information we can see. On the left, there's a whole lot of information about the account, the player whereabouts, and also the status of the player. As you can see on the left, we have the Steam ID, the status of the player, the authenticity level of the player, and we can also see my position, rotation, and the last time I used a admin cheat. If a player is an admin, of course, this will not display. We also have some information about plugins that I don't have installed, like my balance, rewards, and if God mode is activated, you can also see that those are disabled over here. We can ban or kick a player. We can also mute or unmute a player, meaning they cannot type in the chat. Freeze is currently disabled, which is an external plugin that will allow you to just completely freeze or force a player to stand still. You can see that I have some things in my inventory. I can clear my inventory, closing this in the chat. It says unable to perform this action. Protection is enabled for this user. So going into the permissions manager, going into groups, VIP, and then player administration, we have a permission called protect. So if we refocus this, we should now be able to do things like clear inventory. And as you can see, now the items are gone. Then nextly, reset blueprints. If you're familiar with Rust, along the way, you will learn how to make certain items. These are called blueprints. So resetting the blueprints for that player, it will then be like they are at the beginning of the wipe. In the bottom left, you can see my metabolism. So let's say I wanted to heal myself 50 HP. You can see that I got my health. I can also 
recover metabolism. This will make my thirst, HP and food all at the maximum. I can also reset it. This is how it is when you respawn. Down here, as you can see, there are also some options to hurt a player or heal a player. Once again, please do not admin abuse. I'm not 100% sure why you would want to use this. If you have a legitimate use for it, it's good that it is an option. We can also teleport to the player. We can also teleport the player to us. Or we can spectate the player and this will just invoke the normal spectate. You can normally do a spectate and then a Steam ID or username. Clicking this button will automatically start spectating the player who you are currently looking at. Quick side note, this will kill your character in game. So if you're an admin, make sure your inventory is empty and you're somewhere under the map so your body cannot be found. We got some buttons over here that are disabled and one that is enabled, the permissions manager. Since those plugins are not installed, you can see they are gray. The permissions manager we already used early in the video, so I could click on this and this will automatically launch the permissions manager, which kind of ties into managing the players. I'll quickly download the inventory viewer plugin and install that. I will not go more in depth into that plugin, but I'll quickly show you that if you install it, it should automatically work. Looking at the player administration page, you can also see here works with and these are all the plugins you could use and that can hook into this plugin. So let's download the inventory viewer, click on download, and then let's drag that onto our server. Got plugins over here. And then let's just drag in that inventory viewer.cs file. Now, when we open up player admin, go to online players and click on my name, you can see that view inventory is still not enabled. Going into the permissions manager, going into groups, VIP, and then inventory viewer there are two permissions and once again let's have a look at the page to see what these permissions do inventory viewer allowed required to use the inventory viewer self-explanatory required to be able to give and take items from the inventory you are viewing so in this case i'm going to grant both and then let's have a look if it works now and now since i have the permission you can see that the view inventory button is green i can then click view inventory Currently, this is empty, so let me put something in my inventory and you can see what it looks like. I'm currently wearing a hoodie, I have an item in my inventory, and I have an item in my hotbar. Going back to the player admin, clicking on my name and clicking on view inventory, you can see that this is my own inventory, and this on the right is the inventory that I'm looking at. Once again, don't admin abuse, only use it if it makes sense. There are currently no offline players and no band players. When you do have offline players and band players, they will show up exactly like this. And you can just click on them and it will also display information. If you have an admin that prefers using console commands, you can also send them to this page. And as you can see, most things are also doable directly through the console. You can also globally turn off the permission system. So it says when set use permission system to false, the user with the player administration dot access dot show permission can use all the actions. So if it's only you or you fully trust your team, you could completely disable that and then allow your team to use all the features. You can also relay ban and kick messages to your Discord using Discord webhook URLs. I will link to our latest video. There I show how to set up Discord URLs inside of the configuration of a Rust plugin. So it doesn't really make sense to go over it again in this video. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, you can always leave a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tebex store.